religion. Mankind, since the beginning of time, has found true peace and happiness in religion. As it is impossible to talk of morality and virtue where people do not practice the true religion, it is also difficult to imagine real happiness. For morality and virtue originate in good, clear conscience, and what makes conscience good and clear is religion, which is a connection between man and God. Religion is the best school, a most blessed institution founded to inculcate in people good moral qualities. It is open to everyone, from the youngest to the oldest. Only those who attend it attain peace, satisfaction, and freedom. The others, by contrast, cannot save themselves from losing everything, including their true identity. Religion is the collection of divine principles which guide people to good, not by force, but by appealing to their free will. All the principles that secure man's spiritual and material progress, and thereby his happiness in both worlds, are found in religion. Religion means to recognize God is his absolute and transcendental oneness, and to acquire spiritual purity through acting according to his way. It also requires that the man should organize his relations with other people in his name and according to his commandments, and that he should also feel, on account of him, a deep love for and relationship with the whole of creation. Those who do not recognize religion will, sooner or later, come to despise such high values as chastity, patriotism, and love of humanity. Immorality is a filth caused by lack of religion, and anarchy is a product of the same lack. Do the atheists who have devoted their life to hostility towards religion not have some obligation to demonstrate the benefits, if there are any, and the good consequences, if there are any, of atheism? Religion and science are, in fact, two faces of a single truth. Religion guides man to the true path leading to happiness. As for science, when understood and used properly, it is like a torch which provides man with a light to follow on that very same path. All the beautiful flowers of laudable virtues are grown in the gardens of religion, as are the most illustrious fruits of the tree of creation. Like the prophets, the saints, and the scholars of high achievement. Although the atheists deliberately ignore them, they will be unable, however hard they try, to remove them from the hearts of people and the pages of books. There is nothing in the true religion to sound thinking or reasoning or established scientific facts, so it cannot by any means be criticized from any rational point of view. Those who do not accept religion, therefore, have very few, if any, sound arguments or reasons for it, and they have a misconception of science. Religion is an inexhaustible and blessed source laying the foundation of a true civilization. It is by means of religion that a man is elevated in spirit and feelings so high that he makes contact with the metaphysical worlds from where he is fed to full satisfaction with all kinds of beauties, virtues, and goodness. Virtues are to be sought in the practice of religion. It rarely happens that an atheist has laudable virtues while a religious man is devoid of them. A man attains true humanity by means of religion and is thereby distinguished from animals. For an atheist, there is no difference between human beings and animals. Religion is the way established by God, while atheism is the way of Satan. It is for this reason that the struggle between religion and atheism has existed since the time of Adam and will continue until the last day.